So, you know, there is a difference, man. And you got to take, you got to respect yourself. I is for inspiration. Inspire. Being on the show, man, it's amazing how many people we inspire. Probably some of you here today are inspired by our stories and what we did on the ranch, you know. It's, it's amazing the people that come up to me and I'm shocked. Steve Wallace plays left, played left tackle for the 49ers. He's great from where I came from in high school. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. He's, he defined the left, left tackles get paid a bunch of money now because of Steve Wallace, because he gets blocked Lawrence Taylor, you know. So he got, he defined it. And I was playing golf when he came up to me and goes, man, you inspire me, man. I said, you got three Super Bowl rings and you are millions of dollars. Are you kidding me? You never know who's watching you. You know, when I was a little kid, I used to watch all the guys that played high school. I love those high school football players. I'll never forget, you know, the high school star running back was in the, the store buying a Coke. And I had a Pepsi. I put that picture back on. <laughs> I mean, because I looked up to him. You never know who's watching you. Of course, he bought cigarettes and beer after that. And my dad didn't like me bringing that home. But I said, hey, you know, Tim did it. So I didn't get to drink or smoke him, doggone it. But that's all. I made up for it in Puerto Rico. <laughs> but, but, but you never know. D, determination. It goes without saying. Just be, you know, determined. Get yourself up. Dust yourself off. You know, it's like being persistent and determined. And then the E is the best part. Who knows who John Wooden is? John Wooden, great basketball coach of all time. Had a pyramid of success. You right, you inspired. I like it. He really kind of <laughs> had, had the uh, pyramid of success, and one of his cornerstones of the pyramid of success, E, enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. I was labeled when I played football, anywhere, you talk to all my coaches, talk to people I work for. Oh man, he's a hard worker. I was always labeled a hard worker. You know what all I did? Showed up on time and, and had a good attitude. But that ain't hard to do. You can do that. I didn't stay late. I didn't work extra. I didn't do anything special. I didn't clean the coach's shoes. I didn't, you know, wash his car. I just showed up on time with a good attitude. Enthusiasm. Have enthusiasm. When you're in there working in the bike, you get a little tired. Man. Woo! Give a scream. Yeah! And everybody look at you and go, shut up. <laughs> I've had that my whole life, but I love it. So, so pride. You take pride in what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. Right? I played at Holiday Inn tonight too, so. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to you stand up and do an exercise. This is the best part. This is the best part. Oh this is the best part. Stand up, we're going to do an exercise. Oh exercise. This is the best part. Because we were on a weight loss show. We all going to exercise. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Stretch your hands up. Stretch your hands up. Stretch them out. Put them together. Really fast. See, that's how you're standing up. It's kind of weird to talk in front of you guys because some of you just know me as Jen, the crazy person who trained a lot when I was training for the finale. Um, but you don't really know my story unless you're with me every single day. And um, when I was 13, my parents forced me, which is probably the best thing they ever forced me to do, to go to fat camp, which is Camp Shane, which is where. Oh, no. Which is where I met Maggie, um, and where really ultimately my life of self esteem took off. From the time I was probably about 11 until um, probably when we started the show, I had always been told I couldn't, that everything I did was going to be held back because of my weight. You're never going to succeed in life because you're fat. You're never going to have a boyfriend because you're fat. You're never going to um, get a good job because you're fat. Society doesn't like fat people, and that's how the people who surrounded me constantly always brought me up. And um, I remember uh, two summers ago, I guess, I, would, I brought people from the real world to Camp Shane to do an appearance for me. And Beth from the real world, I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she's the blonde, not so nice person, um, came up to me and she goes, you know, Jen, you, you're a beautiful girl, but you're really overweight. And I was like, what? I've known you for 24 hours. You can't talk to me like that. But it kind of hit a bell. And she goes, you know, I, I know somebody that casts for a, a really famous TV show. Would you be interested in doing it? And I was like, well, what, what's a TV show? And she goes, The Biggest Loser. And I was like, I know that. I bring them to Camp Shane all the time. I was like, they're never going to pick me, but go for it. She's like, well, this year they're doing something with couples. You need to, you need to find a friend. So I was like, I need a friend? I was like, who am I going to find that's, that's overweight? So I started going through my friends. I was like, not bad, not bad. Hey, she's bad. <laughs> not bad. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So we went to the audition, and we only had to audition 
once, unlike some people who have auditioned three times. So we were lucky enough to get Strut to Sense Street to call back and straight to LA for 10 days of what I like to call pure hell. If you ever need to test a relationship, do that with a friend and lock in a hotel room and throw away the key. Because that's what we do to our dad. Yes. Oh, he's not losing. He could have been worse. He could have been stuck with Mark. Yeah, that's true. For 10 days, we were locked in a hotel room together. Um, Maggie tried to teach me Italian and learn Italian herself. That was awful. But um, I remember that on the 10th day, they put us all into a room, and I counted, and there was 18 of us. And JD, the executive producer, stands up and he said, you know, I'm going to read off the cast list. Do you guys remember this moment? Mm -hmm. I'm going to read off the cast list. And it was really easy to memorize because it was all of you. And I just kind of like dropped, and I started hysterical crying, and Maggie was kind of like, oh my god, oh my god. And I turned to her and I was like, we're going to be skinny! <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, I know! And the next day, they took us to the ranch. And they have us walk up to the hill, that mountain. Yeah. And Allison Sweeney's like, and you have to run that hill. And I turned to Maggie and I go, we have to work to be skinny! <laughs> and she's like, uh-huh, what do you think it was going to be? And since um, October 23rd, I now, I started at 254 pounds and I now weigh 175 pounds. And while I did 30 years, I went from a size 24, which is probably even too small for me, to a size 12 now, which is even more exciting. And um, I lost 31 pounds on the show, but more importantly, I definitely could not have done it without the people here. And you're all here, so I'm just going to give you guys a shout out. But Terry and Viola and Matt, they're my trainers. While the show helped me and got me kickstarted in my life, these people have really, really showed me who I was. Because the show, there's 20 of us, and you can't really get all of your time devoted. You know, Jillian couldn't just take an entire day and be with me, but from the second that I signed up to, to train in body designs, Matt was committed and he was more than a trainer, he was a friend. Somebody that still to this day can be like, oh my god, I just gotta go find my parents. Let me know. What do I do? And one trainer turned into two and then turned into three. So I had a whole team getting me ready for the finale. And thank you guys. I love you.